Okay, welcome to uh, Jones versus Lane Tech. In an unfortunate technical difficulty side of event, we're already three rounds in. Jones is up 3 0, so the. Uh... And uh, yeah, so we got uh, 2v3 in the side of Jones. One enemy remaining. Huge whiff. Okay, so we got Rebu on the defense, trying to take it to attack. Astrosar. Most likely there for pool. Yep, we see that. We see both players laying long. Spam. And now Jones is up 4 0. Jones getting another round there as they get up really early versus Lane Tech, who saw this happen last game versus Wheaton North, the Wheaton North Falcons as they struggled really early and lost the first game, but rattled back for two. As we're going to see Lane Tech try and respond here as Jones just has the That's upper hand. Stunna top fragging, I believe, for Jones, as expected. Stunna seems to be one of their top fraggers. Cooper in the lineup, uh, which we haven't seen too much for Jones this season, only in half the games. But we're going to see a more BC-sided push, but it's very, very split here. As we see a mid and a more mid B A push now. As in this is one of the most anticipated uh, yeah. matches of the entire series. Uh, waited a long time by both teams. We get to see what at like the highest potential for both teams to bring and we see who can want it more between which teams as we see a more mid presence on the side of uh jones we see uh the chamber and uh asha holding flanks we see geog on site getting immediately picked Rebu down good with one and nullifying the phoenix alt we're taking the garage it looks like Jones is falling back, almost stuck outside this mid presence. We see Killjoy Utility inside Garage, knowing that somewhere outside Garage. We see Evil Blueberry playing inside Window, as we see Rebu and uh, Echo onto C site. We see Thrudel holding any entrance on to, on the side of Jones, and we see uh, Jones ready to get take a three man Garage push. Fade Eye, Geog enters immediately. They're taking C. As we saw the last few rounds, they know Ethan's back sight by the platform. Full blind, not be able to see, being spammed. And both Ethan uh, and Evil Blueberry, everyone there is just holding the cross so well on the side of the lane. We get a flawless, very uh, different uh, turn of events for the first four rounds, which look very dominant on the side of Jones. Lane Tech finally gets a match that they need, or a round that they need, I, I apologize. And just, it's... It's going to be a tough game to come back from 4-0 this okay. early, but again, three three objectives are definitely hard to defend, and when they do a split push like that, it's much, much easier on the side of the of the champions here, as they look to make another defense here. Again, really split, but it looks like it's going to be an A-heavy push for the Eagles. Now, we see that immediate mid-presence, so all of Jones going through shower, not mid-A, only going through short, no taking sight almost instantly. And get the eye. No one. Nothing spots uh, Thrudel. They don't know. They don't know Thrudel short. They uh, just ignore the angle completely. Thrudel can have a lot of impact here, along with the all coming from the side of Echo. Thrudel gets one. Thrudel's good for two. Spike is down. They're pushing out. They know one is hell. They know two is hell. And that hold was almost perfect. And the hold was really beautifully done. But the side of Jones ignoring Thrudel's position there disregarding it and it through will be able to get a good few picks which led uh to very explosive uh un unpredicted round for the side of jones land is now uh two away from uh evening uh matches up see see lane tech they're taking a good advantage of when they did That's not ready. <laughs> They did finally notice Thrudel. They got a great push in there, and Rebu helped take back objective. As we're going to again see an A heavy push for the Eagles. Thrudel and Rebu getting a good kills you for their team play? there. As, Let's play. as we see a Phoenix at mid, and they're actually going to be moving a lot more spread again. We see a more default from the side of uh, Jones. Uh, arguably because of the fact that they're lower eco. If they lose this round, they will be on an economy next. So they want to make sure to get either as most guns and most picks as possible. Or just straight up win the round. We see Geog the Phoenix up to Garage. In order to find the Alarm Bot, they know there's some presence towards that seaside. We see both. Uh, we see uh, the side of Jones now walking up Sea Long. 
is Echo ready for this? We have Molly's, we have a Killjoy turret. We have the Fade Alt being used on the side of Jones. Being full death, Echo decides to uh, fall back, playing a 5v5 retake, which has been favored for the signs of, for the size of Jones. So we could see another Jones win. Let's see how Link Tech uh, changes things up. We see Stana uh, getting a pick off reboot early. Now it's a 45 retake, much harder to contest. Echo getting one pick for one Cooper. Geog, Sun, Alefi all falling. This 5v5 retake. Very well done. Once again, even losing that pick early on re uh, when Sunna getting reboot, that pick early did not matter as Lane Tech just executed so quickly, so well done. Jones was not ready for it. Down one more before making this set even. Yeah, an extremely fast retake there by Lane Tech as we see E, Echo, and. Thrudo both come on site. Thrudo got a double kill, I believe, but using the smokes, using everything, using the abilities very well there as Lane Tech gets back from down 0-4, 2-3-4, and are one match away from evening it. As again, another very split another very split push here by Jones as the less they focus, it seems Don't that the less they can ground. the less they focus, the less they take the objectives here as we see Thrudo top fragging for Lane Tech. Reboot getting the instant pick onto J Jagog as I would think I'd pronounce it. Lane Tech, both... So the history between these two uh, teams is that there are players uh, from both teams that are on Hop, which is a uh, organization, uh, hosts uh, Reboot, hosts Game Over, uh, Echo, all these players, Lefty, those four players especially, so they know each other well in their sets. They'd be hard, hard reading a lot of them. They've been scrimming as well. Both teams are just ready for each other. This just comes down to who is really quick on the adaptation. Stun of missing the shots, getting stunned. Not ready for Ethan. Ethan getting the pick. And now, as we see left alone, the fade on the side, right outside garage entering. Cooper. Now, the alarm bots outside of the halls, giving away position. They know exactly where he's at. And Lane Tech's moving up to hold him. Flash and flash his own teammate, which is a misplay from Thrudel. Ruby isn't able to get the trade. But Evil Blueberry just holding outside halls. Cooper was not ready for that one. Lane Tech evening, evening the match here very early as Thrudel does flash around teammate there, but that with Blueberry behind, who's been pulling, who's, again, we see that balance on that team here. Thrudel flash around teammate, gets there, gets the job done as we see an even match between the Crosstown rivals. As again, Lane Tech is a very even and well-balanced team as we can see this on the KDA. Nobody really taking charge here, but more of a everybody taking charge and doing their job here for the champions as again we see a little more bc centered push for the covering it. instant push they know they're on the eco so they know they're able to take these duels without uh getting risks of losing them quickly especially if they're for the trades we see the mid presence coming from jones as both lefty and uh jagog are right, take sight instantly spike is still towards window though so they have this site presence and this space but they don't have uh, any way to plant as uh cooper is running towards the site getting ready to plant stana is there they know one is uh towards a long so they're not everyone can be on B as uh, we get Cooper to plant towards the middle. And it looks like more of a uh, mid hold, which is very powerful. We see Rebu getting flashed. Really unfortunate timing. And now the they did pick up the guns though, which is very important to know. All on sheriffs. How would the lane tech handle this? Now we see Thrudel TP towards spawn. One pick from uh, the side of Evil Blueberry. You know, one's back site. Sana getting a get pick. Getting two is headhunter. It's moving very valuable. Jagog and Stunna, Sheriff Demons. Can Thrudel clutch out the round or we gotta get this equal? They pick up the gun, set a Cooper. Thrudel gets one, has to reload. Thrifty. A thrifty round. Sheriff Demons, the size of Jones. A really excellent save round there for Jones, taking the lead again after losing four in a row. But Thrudel nearly clutching up there, but can't get it done as, the, as Jones takes the lead. Uh, Stunna on top, as we've seen so many times before in previous matches. Uh, kind of a little bit taking charge of this team, as we see on the other team, Rebo, getting a great round there for Lane Tech, but they can't get it done. Uh, and Echo, the captain, also having a good game right now, too, for Lane Tech, as we see another BA center, another mid center push that's very split. They know this presence is towards A once again. Dog is spotting Frudel in short. Cooper getting a pick onto White. Both Sky uh, uh Fade Flash. Uh now they hold back. 
So they get Jayog's uh, alt, now be able to make presents, but it is good, uh, valuable uh, information, as it looks like another B push. We see Jayog, we see Lefty, and we see Cooper all walking up towards B, as we see Game Over and uh, Stana holding the flank. Stana now rotating with them, and they take sight almost instantly. Once again. We got the ults from Echo. Not being able to get Jayog. Can you hold this? Full flashed. Not on the site yet. Holding this, he's uh, Astro Smug serving very well on the side of Jones. Jayog gets one, Jayog gets two. But Lefty and Jayog holding those pushes excellently. Push there by the Eagles to get another round here. Uh, Jayog, like you mentioned, great job defending with Lefty. Uh, as we're going to see, probably Lane Tech try their best here. And is they've got money. They've got money, but if they lose another round here, they might be a little bit out of economy. And we're going to see, hopefully we can see White and Blueberry pick it up a little bit, as it seems now that uh, the Eagles are taking a little more charge of this game and are trying to keep their foot on the gas here after going up 4-0, but losing that, as we're going to see another, more, maybe a more mid-centered push again here, with Spike uh, still down. We lose spot it instantly, getting spam past the TP away. We get uh, Echo pushing up. Is game over ready for this on the side of uh, C-Long? No, he's not. And as the side of Jones loses their smokes, which can prove very valuable towards the later half of this uh, round. We see more mid-presence once again. Thrudel is playing towards that uh, close box. Let's get a pick, especially if they try to break the trip. We have Rebo holding outside Garage. The dog Garage, making pre Jones making presence towards that, that area. Stuns. Rebo good for two, getting both for Jagog and Lefty. Sana is getting the pick on White, and Cooper getting the trade on Rebu. It's now 3v2. We see uh, we see Cooper rotating towards A to see if they make any presence there, because Sana is already on site. Makes noise, so they know he's on site somewhere. Heaven. They is Ibu Blueberry ready for this? Ibu Blueberry is ready, and Sana, now in the CT spawn, now knowing that he is there, in fact. Not be able to get a pick. Thrudo gets the round, and it is now 5-6 towards an even, uh, looking towards an even half on this, uh, first side of, uh, Haven. Extremely split push by Jones there, each getting picked off in separate areas and just unable to push completely as a team as that kind of really just came down to a not pushing as a team and being left alone. As we're gonna probably see them maybe try and fix for, fix their mistakes here and go for a more centered push, but again, on this map, it's entirely possible we see again another split push that ends up in mid. Is that's what Jones is rotated to, and seems to like so far. But it looks like they're headed towards C. You want to fight we see uh, headed towards C. We see a more default play as well. The actual being used very early, making a weird sort of formation. Something I wouldn't expect on the side of uh, Jones, but it looks like they're rearing up to take Garage early, which is interesting use of Astro ult. Um, we see both Stana and Cooper inside Garage, not willing to break the Molly as it will give the position away. Staring at it though, just in case if the Molly does uh, hit. The trip, they know there is presence on C, almost instantly taken already. Rebu getting flashed, not being able to get any picks. Rebu getting the pick on Jegog though, as Lefty walks up towards Garage. Is Lane Tech ready for this? this? Looking to get an instant right click. We get the side, we get the Killjoy ult as uh, Game Over walks towards Long. We get a push from Jones trying to break this ult and it fails very miserably. Rubu getting three, Evil Bear getting one. Game Over having to play on this long side, having lead. nothing but a pull. We have Evil Bear playing in the smoke, getting the pick, and it is now an even half for both sides. Yeah, we saw a failed push by Jones there. To get back on the site is, or sorry, I felt push a very well done push by Lane Tech there as we saw Jones completely fail to defend that and Spice. just can't take objective as a, they got an evacu Jones evacuated early but just sort of didn't get it back as charged lefty charged and got it on a five v five there and we are gonna see probably again another c push as that did go pretty well and they're gonna try and pick up the pieces there but another uh whoever's bottom fragging on jones i'm not 100 percent sure as i didn't see it white has got nine assists as we see a lot sorry seven assists and echo has nine assists i'm sure a very very heavy assist and very very good support here from both teams as we are tied again in this crosstown rivalry now, another thing we have to consider, and that this is this was Jones's pick, 
and uh, Lane Tech did choose defense, and their attack is really well on Haven, as we see now. The Stalin's coming out. Jagog good for one, though. We will be able to get out from that push. Jones holding that seaside very well. Spamming through the smoke, getting uh, long picks. Thrudel getting picked off, spammed through the smoke. Very unfortunate. Though we have uh, two stuck in Cubby, one holding towards that long side. We have uh, Cooper walking up towards uh, uh, to the flank. Um, Chamber is dead, so are they ready for this? Evil Bleary looks like he is holding that uh, spot. Remaining. Getting one. Spike down. The Nettle one is pushed up, and Jagog is good for four on this pistol round. Jagog doing a great job on pistol round there. As we see more pistol round shenanigans on that switch side. And uh, J Jones, again, <laughs> responding as we're seeing very streaks. Very streaky here by both teams as Jones 1-4, Lane Tech 1-4, Jones 1-2, Lane Tech 1-2, and Jones 1-1. One, one. And we are seeing a very, very close matchup as anticipated. Both teams extremely similar stat-wise, but again, Lane Tech has played that Wheaton North team last week and beat them very, very handily towards the end. This is very Goliath versus Goliath. David here. They're going getting picked off. Lane Tech holding that very heavy mid-presence. As they're now all outside garage. We got the flash. Not being able to get stunned off. Stun is whiffing. Game over. Good for one through the spam. Good for two. Uh, Echo's right click jump is good. Sana with the insane reaction time. Good for one. Not being able to get Echo. 2v2 on the side of uh, a buyer. Uh, instead of uh, Ikaron for lane tech. Looking very winnable and doable. We have uh, Lefty coming through garage. Is lane tech ready for this? Judge. They know he's out. And Rebu with the godlike crosshair placement. And a bonus round that fails for the side of Jones and worked out well for Lane Tech, that mid-presence that Jones showed on that first half. Looking to bite them uh, bit in, uh, in the back as uh, Lane Tech copied that same strat. Yeah, a lot of assists here on the Jones side as two players are over eight now. Or on the, I apologize, on the Lane Tech side as Echo and White both go over nine assists. And yeah, that mid-push there really working out as it always tends to yeah, on Haven. But again, we'll see how... Jones responds here with a little more money as they look like they're going to save here after losing that round. This sent a push stop and a very uh, aggressive oh. angle getting picked off by uh, Evil Blueberry's uh, Phantom. Thrudel's Phantom getting Jagog. We have no presence towards mid. We see two instantly rotate as we see uh, Game Over on the flank. Most likely being spotted out by that chamber trips. Yep. Now running back towards C. Uh, lane tag, instead of making any space, they decide to fall back, try to get any more picks as they know that giving uh, Jones any picks will be uh, detrimental to their plan. They make presence towards A with no uh, presence from Jones towards A. A retake on, uh, on the eco is very hard to do. They know the presence is towards A. We see uh, Cooper and Lefty both immediately rotating uh, through CT and we see game over. C presence is very far away. Can't do anything instantly. See Lefty try to get an early pick, getting spammed through the smoke. We see Cooper out alone, not being able to do anything currently. It's, he'll most likely get picked off. Getting spammed through the smoke once again. Is Lane Tech aware that uh, he is out already? We see uh, his teammate game over coming over already. They don't know he's here. They He just picked up the, Fanta, uh, the Vandal. They know he's there now. Is he right or left? He... Nope. Good for one from uh, Eco not... Naiko not being able to get a pick, but we see Rebu. Again, the chamber is just proving to be very valuable on both sides. Just getting all the top five, getting all those early picks is proving very valuable. Yeah, a game of money there as Lane Tech just had guns and was able to take sight much, much easier. It's hard to beat a Vandal when you have a pistol or a ghost. Uh, and we're gonna, and I, actually, an interesting fact here is a lot, if you look at a lot of tags, both teams have B Hop players, which is an outside of IHSCA organization that would actually probably contributes a lot to this because player these players know each other and these players know each other you mentioned a lot of scrims earlier these players know each other very well and we're seeing a probably a bc centered push here for jones for we see like echo that. with the uh, alt jail trying to support uh game over as we see rotations almost instantly stun up being able to get one very uh good through smoke spam we see lane tech almost immediately falling back even before stun is able to get that one and now with Jones making a default defense, Lane Tech just instantly rotating towards A. Echo trying to get any garage pushers. We see A, or making presence. We see the Cooper I. Not ready for it. Very powerful I. Cooper not being able to capitalize off of it though. We see Sona up in heaven. Is Lane Tech ready for it? 
Stana is taken out by uh, Thrudel as we get a 4v3 retake on the side of Jones. Two lane tech players are both very low HP. We see the ult coming from Jagog. They're not taking sight instantly. Jagog now having to go back because of the ult. Uh, Echo being there, getting, punishing the ult from the side of uh, Jagog. And now Jones, what looked like a very powerful push, is now trapped here. We see the default, we see the defuse. Rebu, that guy, getting the flick onto uh, Lefty with two. Not being able to get three. That would have been crazy if he clutched it, but he just didn't know that uh, Echo actually was not pushed up there. And Evil Blueberry getting that pick, making it for the lead of nine to seven. Yeah, and then again, lane tech going down 4-0, not giving up here. As we're seeing a very, very strong game by Rebu here. Characteristic there is Rebu has played extremely well in the last few matches, playing particularly well against Wheaton North last Thursday. And again, these teams are very, very similar stat-wise within 10 in every single stat category, excluding win percentage, because the only Jones has not lost a map yet all season, and Lane Tech looks to hand them their first here. You see the hold for coming from game over. Rebu's off. Good for one. The ops from game over. Not being able to get the pick. We see Jagog almost instantly trying to make sure that there isn't presence towards that C. But we see Lane Tech almost instantly there. Instead falls back. Rebu trying to get the extra picks. They force three players from Jones on this rotation because Jones has no other choice. They're really low in terms of a con. They have uh, bad guns. We see Cooper on a really aggressive angle. Could get a few really powerful picks if he's ready with the judge. Playing too far, too aggressive. And now we see a 3v5, a 3v5 retake. Jagal good for one. Sana good for two. We get the spam from Thrudel getting good for two. And then Rebu getting the last pick. Good jo a good uh, chance from uh, Jones all around. Getting a lot of picks. Like I said, both Jagog and Sana known for their being Sheriff Demons. Yeah, as we see here, again, it's just, just a really, really late... Or not really, really late, but rather just just late for Jones on that rotation there. Unable to get sight as the entire lane tech team was set up, ready for them to get there. And pushed back that very, very well. And Stunna, again, top fragging for this team. Playing extremely well for the Eagles here. But we're going to see a more B-centered push with maybe a few stragglers. But it uh, looks like lane tech is headed A with a smoke from Thrudel. We see more default presence. Uh, Echo stunning garage. It looks like a garage push. Something that Link Tech only did on that one eco round they won after pistol. They have the location of game over who's instantly rotating to not get punished for that. Playing across. Lefty with the collateral. Good for two. Very good. Three, in fact. As we see Echo, who used his ult now having to fall back. Is Echo and Equal Blueberry good for standing. a 2v5? Echo now in a 1v5 scenario, very hard to accomplish. Jagog pushing up. Flawless. Flawless from the side of Jones. Lefty getting those two early picks, proving very valuable for Jones. Great retaliation there by Jones after losing four rounds in a row. As Lefty with an excellent, excellent collateral there. I'm not even sure it was too intentional, but you know, those things happen and those things really, really mess with, can mess with your mental, mental, mental drive as a team as lane tech looks to get the motivation and looks to get the momentum back on their side as we see a very a b centered push on the opposite side here as c did work a few times but it seems that it didn't work this time as i believe echo has an odin which he's known for so we see lefty trying to get an early pick through that wall bang we see uh echo dropping the odin over to evil blueberry as it makes a presence we see uh both jagog and Sonic here playing on a very aggressive angle, uh, as expected from the side of Jones. We see a more default push, game over on that C. And both Cooper and Lefty on B site. Throwing a wall, uh, throwing an eye early towards mid, seeing, spotting no one, knowing that there is no one up mid. Sona getting out with 30 HP and barely his life, having to avoid the aftershock. Rebu getting mollied, both chambers very low. Sona good for Echo. Sona not only good for one though. Jagog, good for two. These insane aims and flicks. Not ready for Thrudel to be on site, though. We see two presents towards heaven. Evil Blueberry in a 1v1. Game over, disconnecting. Unfortunate. It looks like the internet issues that happened. It looks like uh, Lane Tech will win the round. Game over is back. Now with less time on his hands due to uh, potential internet issues. Evil Blueberry didn't plant though, so it just looks perfectly doable for the side of uh, 
Jones as well. It just comes down to who is the better aim duel. We see uh, the setup coming from Evil Blueberry. Taking a retake in a 1v1 against Killjoy is very hard, but still doable. You see the alarm bot towards long to catch any flanks from there. You see the turret spotting uh, him. Evil Blueberry. I'm having to play this 1v1 as uh, Game Over pushes up. Grenade out. Play, uh, faking the defuse, they know he's long. Game over! Okay. After that still disconnect, loaded. still being able to clutch the round for Jones because of a uh, play that uh, Evil Blueberry didn't plan early because I'm assuming to respect both the disconnect, which is very respectable in terms of sportsmanship. But even after that, game over winning that round, even after the unfortunate disconnect. Game over coming in clutch there, kind of getting, like you mentioned, screwed over entirely by their internet, but in the an excellent play there as Blueberry Ooh. did play a little bit passively there, probably a little too passive that with game over just running onto site there, but I don't that think that's a, I think that's just something that happens in a kind of a gamble there that you probably want to take as Blueberry, but didn't end up playing out as just an excellent play by game over. We're seeing a BC centered push again for lane tech as they head back Lefty to it after it doesn't work twice. Lefty holding the window, trying to see if he can get early pick, not happening. We see white solo lurking up through garage, Lefty holding window again. Game over, full blind. Rebo not being able to clear the corner, it's solo Slide unlucky, down. they didn't clear the corners. And now 2v4, lane tech has done these before, but very difficult in terms of just, both teams play very spike excellently. Planted. They know the spike is planted. Uh, Evil Blueberry not looking up towards uh, mid at all. We see all coming through in the side of uh, Fade, of Cooper. Evil Blueberry good for two! Getting spotted by the eye. Getting hit by the Fade. And Cooper being able to uh, get the round. Now, even half what looks like uh, what looks like lane tech dominating the attack side. We see adaptation from Jones once again. Both teams just know each other so well, adaptation so well. And these last few rounds, whoever can potentially get 11 and even 12 will most likely win the set, especially if uh, Jones is able to clutch this round out, as uh, lane tag will be on a very struggle buy on that next round afterwards. Absolutely, they look to stay in economy here. If, if they lose this round, then it might almost be over for them as 11 to 10, 11 to 10, down 11 to 10 without any money is not a place to be. We saw it last week versus Elgin and Hersey as Elgin lost that game because they just didn't have enough money as Hersey kept winning rounds and kept keeping them down. But we'll see if Lane Tech can get money I've back here as they go with a little bit of a save push headed to A and B. Jay Gog uh, pushing through. Cooper getting the pick from the lurk of Iru Dubarry, living with the skin of his teeth at 11 HP. Rebu most likely getting burned from that Phoenix Molly at 57. They're all, they have taken sight. They know one is short. One enemy remaining. Ethan, e Echo, known for that Odin, getting that round. He is an Odin demon, especially on this map. I was waiting for it to see it come out. I personally love the Odin. I'm very excited and happy. And it proving there, it is really well done. It spammed through all those players that came from CT and uh, left Lefty in a very awkward scenario for him to try to clutch that. Lane Tech now once again up in just one round. Odin, an excellent gun. I totally agree with you on right that. There. And again, Lane Tech gets that round that they need and now kind of has Jones on their economic right heels. There. And if they can't win this game, it might be an easy match right point there. for Lane Tech here. As again, now it's gone from a Lane Tech must win to a Jones must win economy wise. As we see a B and A centered push again. Now we see the op. We see a switch up in terms of positions. Uh, we see Lefty playing towards A, three presents. JL walking up short. Knowing the alarm bot's there, he's trying to get any early picks. Reboot falling again. We get the heal from Jagal, getting 100% HP at the very least. Getting a flash. It's immediately walking away, wasting utility from the side of uh, lane, which is very good for Jones. As Sunna walks up, getting spammed from uh, Thrudel in a weirdly weird position he wasn't ready for. Now holding the outside as he is low HP and there is no healers, unlike lane tech who has the sky. We see that mid presence once again. Jones not ready to retake this at all instantly. We see Jagog towards short. We see Cooper towards heaven. And we see Stunna and Lefty towards that C site. As game over is the only one here potentially able to take it. We see Jagog walking up. The alarm bot from uh, the side of Evil Blueberry will most likely spot them. We see game over trying to get any picks. Uh, just running away, trying to respect the Killjoy ult. And now CT push from or uh, 
spawn push from the side of uh, Jones. Jigal, good for one. Two players on the side of uh, Jones, though. Very low HP. Evil Blurry, this pick is very important. Not able to get it. And instead, Jones just collapses onto lane tech. And we are now even once again. Jones tech getting that game that they needed. As again, it just reminds me of last week. All over again, two very, very good teams going up against each other this week. Uh, as again, we get another excellent featured match as the game sits at 11-11. Both teams have good economy and we'll have to see how it plays out because you'll see Rebo and Echo both playing really well. Actually, B-Hop B -Hop for the lane tech side playing much better than B-Hop for the Jones side. Uh, Jagog and Stunna leading their teams uh, as Jagog has actually been a bit of a sub more recently, not playing in every single match. But we will see how this round finishes up as we see another a very, very heavy A-side push for the champions. See Jagog trying to get early picks, throwing the molly to get any burn damage. Trying to, uh, not good. Rebu is able to survive with so much of his HP. Uh, Echo using the alts. Fade trying to use their dog. Good for one on the side of uh, getting Evu Berry. Albeit, he, he did have the stinger, so... In terms of economy, that doesn't hurt uh, lane tech all that badly. We see Lefty going out heaven with most likely the operator uh, of waiting for the smoke. They're waiting probably for the smoke to clear as uh, the most likely collapse on the site. We see the Astra all being used. Fade Eye, Rebu getting killed by Sunday through the op. Double op from the side of Jones working out very well. Uh, they're not able to pop uh, low lane tech and have a very difficult time to stop this, even if they're able to stop this at all. Looking like they're just sticking it, this Astra wall. Proving very valuable One for Jones. Remaining. And Jones and Stunna with the Headhunter, Match Sheriff points. Demon, getting all of those picks. And now, as we see Jones up on their map pick, one round away, lane tech, one round away just to guarantee overtime and see if they can clutch this again. An extremely excellent wall there by Jago or sorry, by game over there, bottom of the team, but still again with a 12 assist, very, very good. Doing very, very well on the support side of things as Astra, as Lane Tech looks to keep this game even and send it to overtime as they're switching sides now, but Lane but the Eagles are very, very split and but we're seeing a little bit of an aggressive push here from Phoenix at A site. We see the Astra walls, we see uh Everything coming through the spam, of course. Uh, making present towards Garage, getting the trades from game over. Uh, now uh, Jones losing the smokes. We see Lefty on that platform. Jagog getting the pick. Getting two picks, getting both. Uh, now we see 1v4 on the side of Rebu. Jagog getting two picks, Lefty getting his one. Rebu getting one, but they know exactly where his position is. Using Dog. Breaking the all from Jagog, who gets this a lot. We've seen so many alts from him uh, during this match alone. We see a, a very powerful push, but Rebu pushed up quicker. Even more aggressive. Is, Lane, is Jones ready for this? Yes, they are. Defenders win. Excellent first round there by Jones as it's very similar to the Wheaton North game for Lane Tech, losing that first round early on Haven. And we're going to see how lane tech can respond here but that was a very very good first round by rebo and a very very first round by jagog both not top fragging typically but playing very very well here now we see the uh uh lane tech now having their map ascent which they're also very well known for and if lane tech does able to clutch out that second map they'll have the third map breeze which honestly i haven't seen any team from uh, either side yeah white there actually typically a top fragger for lane tech kind of not being too great for the side of the champions there and game over having a much better round than game overs had to deal with recently but cooper again bo bottom fragging there and again this Jones' team played very, very well, especially Rebo helping his team, leading his team, rather, towards that win. And it looks like we'll be getting a break for both teams to recollect their thoughts and uh, strategize as they go into the second match ascent. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you after this uh, short break.
Welcome back after that short break. Um, we saw that uh, Jones won that map on their own pick of Haven 11-13. Like, that keeping it very competitive and close and now looking to try and take the second map of Ascent to their own pick. Let's see how they're able to adapt to uh, Jones because we're seeing more neutral maps coming out from both sides because they know that like they won't have a specialty as uh, both teams just know each other very well in terms of just players and in terms of just uh, scrims and everything. Um, we're seeing more neutral maps. We saw first uh, Haven, a more neutral map in terms of just understanding if you know each team really well, which obviously both Jones and Lane Tech do. And then now we'll see Ascent, arguably the most neutral map in the entire game at the current moment as we are uh, going into Aiden Select. Yeah, Lane Tech and Jones, very, very even matched, have been playing a while. Crosstown rivals, I think they've scrimmed three or four times, and they're just a very similar team that understand each other very, very well. In those neutral maps, neither team wants to give each other an advantage. Uh, as we come through Aiden Select on the side of Jones, we see uh, Cooper playing the fade once again. We see uh, Jagog playing that more flashy initiator into KO instead. On the side of Lane Tech, it looks a bit like a troll. Yeah. <laughs> So ignoring lane tech for now, we see Lefty on that jet being very prominent. Stunna on the Killjoy, a different central apart from Chamber, but having to play a bit more passive, which uh, we know Stunna for having just really nasty shots and just insane aim. So having to play a bit more passive agent, something I'm a bit surprised at, but he also has very good util usage as well, just being an all-around great player. So not too surprised of him in the Killjoy. And then game over on that uh, controller once again on the Omen, which is a very prominent pick on the side of... Uh, Ascent, and as we see Lane Tech just randomly selecting their agents, probably discussing what their plan is. We see Rebu on the chamber, as always, Twitch very prominent chamber, player, very, very well. Last time, uh, we see White on another initiator, KO, Choose very powerful on this map. We see Evil Blueberry on the Killjoy once again. And we'll most likely see uh, Echo and Thrudel on that controller and initiator. Yep, as we see now, we see a more original team from a uh, side of jones uh and then a more uh it's both teams are very similar apart from the uh obviously the initiator in terms of fade and silva and uh the sentinel in fact something i once thought i'd say in terms of chamber and killjoy uh we see uh double initiator coming from the side of jones double initiator double sentinel no duelists on the side of lane tech and as we see uh that jet being favored on jones absolutely as third does play omen here gets that pick Thrill has been a very, very good controller of the map with smokes for lane tech here as <clears throat> as we see a very similar picks to the last round. And we're gonna see here just how well these teams can play as I'm gonna I'm actually very interested more in that lack of a chamber pick for Jones aside here. As chamber is very, very a good operator and they've had actually I believe a Jones in every single map so far. And Lane Tech I'm interested to also see how this young team responds to a lost lane tech being one of the youngest teams in the IHSEA here. And we're going to see how they get through this defense here, this defensive set against Jones with a A-sided push. And they also look to defend. A very aggressive push. And we see 4A. So both teams just knowing each other very well. We see two immediately push up through mid. Reboot, not good for one. Son of getting two. Re uh, Echo being able to trade that out, getting to get a good two as the lever is closed. We see most likely a 3v3 retake as Jones is now on that site. Yep, Catching uh, through the off guard, breaking that door, knowing where uh, Echo is. Getting good for two now. All we have is Ibu Blueberry, that uh, C holder now going up towards heaven to see if he can get any sort of picks. Walking up slowly. Um, a hold from uh, Jagog, knifing, knowing where he is. We see the hold from Cooper, from Jenny. And we see uh, game over play from Main, and uh, very hard to do in terms of this retake, a 1v3 on pistol. Very hard to do. Could have been doable, but now we see Jones up 1 0, like we saw in the last map. Absolutely. As Lane Tech got a good defense there, but just kind of got outclassed by Jones, Cooper, and Stunna getting two individually as Echo was the only one to get a pick there for the champions as the Eagles are headed, maybe it looks like towards B on a more split push, but mm, no, they've got Bomb actually, I don't know, they left Bomb at A, but they have a split push with Bomb sitting towards A and a very, very split defense here by Jones. We see default from the side of both teams. We'd be holding that mid, which uh, there was no presence from either team in terms of mid last round. 
Playing it nice and slow and steady as we see Cooper going to retrieve bomb. Two already up towards mid, walking towards that tree side where uh, White is holding. Thrudel is holding from Jenny. It looks like an 8 execute at the very end. They know that Reboot is there. White knowing one is there. Reboot getting lefty on this eco round. Now we see two trees going two up heaven. The door is closing. We see Thrudel uh, losing their life. And we see Cooper and game over. The better guns. Evil Blueberry with a shorty not being able to do anything. Get the picks and uh, from the early pick of Rebu, uh, Jones just collapsed on everything else. Knowing that they had the better guns even if they did lose and if they lost the man advantage, had the better guns. He's able to collapse that round and take it for 2-0. Uh, -oh. Economy is momentum and everything in this game as <laughs> Echo already has an Odin on the side of... Uh, on that great save there. Good job to save by there because Echo's already got an Odin. They have very good guns come this round. And they fell early due to just a lack of guns. And they bought second round. They lost second round. Didn't have an economy till about round five or six. But Revealing great area. job saving there. Probably the best move there. As we see a very, very split push and a very, very split defense. We see Lefty on that judge trying to punish any sort of aggressive uh, pushes from lane tech. Which there are two players. Let's see if they can get the trades. Nope, Lefty. Just deciding just to like completely ignore that. But baiting out that rotate towards mid, we see Reboo there. Still holding that angle. Rotating out. Very unfortunate in the position he's in. Getting one though. Echo getting the Odin spam. Not being able to do anything on the side of Jones. That Odin being too powerful. And Reboo that's being just the insane player that he is. Being able to hold that mid from even a very uh, disadvantageous uh, position. And now we see lane tech taking what was expected to be uh, their buy round, but very convincingly from the side of lane. Absolutely, as their economy is in great shape here. Target great out. save. Again, I mentioned that save. Willing to go down 2-0 just to get, those, get that money and get everything they needed for this round. Not wanting to go down 4-0 again, uh, as they did last time, as the, that young team responding very well to a 2-0 deficit, as we see a more A-heavy push and more B-sided defense. Revealing area. Now we see the Killjoy changing positions, trying to get a read on Jones, which both teams have just been trying to read each other. We see that mid presence going up towards that tree again. Looks like another A presence for attacking. We see uh, the Killjoy from the side of Jones just holding outside tiles, trying to punish any aggressive pushes, which Lane Tech has yet to prove that they have done. Face your fear. Instant execute. We see uh, the all from Cooper punishing Brutal's uh, really unfortunate positions from that sort of angle. We see White trying to get any picks. Game over. Pushed up very aggressively in the smoke, deciding just to fall back. We see Lefty playing under Heaven, most likely to get a spam. And uh, now 5v4 retake. Let's see how uh, Lane Tech able to uh, accomplish this one. Do we have any lineups? Do we have any utility? Reboot walking up, destroying uh, that. Stunna getting the pick on White. Very good pair once again. Reboot pushing out of the smoke. Not good for any. Three players were able to hold him. We see uh, Echo with the Odin once again. Trying to spam. Uh, realizes that this round can be 24% HP. Getting one! So, but it looks like timer's running low. He has really low HP. They're pulling the aggressive push. He looks like to just save his Odin for the next round and give up that round to uh, Jones. Another very powerful uh, A execution, A mid execution. Jones, Jones, a great start here. Uh, two members above five kills. Lane Tech has a little bit of a rough start here on the stat side. Two members not having a frag yet. But again, an excellent push there, punishing Thrudo for not watching the right spot and getting on site very fast, forcing whoever was left on A site to evacuate. And we see Thrudo and White unable to get a pick in either round, either any of these rounds so far. Jago, who top frag last game for uh, Jones, still unable to get it too, as we see Cooper, who bottom frag last game actually on top, as we're seeing a little bit of a reversal here. Uh, and a B-sided heavy push and defense here for Jones as they hope to probably make a good Out rotation here, unable to do so, so far. You know, we see B-presence once again, that dart will be scanning. Uh, Echo getting one, spamming of course, Odin being very powerful, getting their fade, which is, could be very you detrimental. We get uh, Killjoy all in a very unassailable position behind that box, not being able to punish it, because uh, Echo already is one of his shock darts. We see uh, Rebo getting one. Lefty good for two though. And now his sight is completely free. Except from uh, Evil Blueberry. He played in that really uh, passive corner. 
really unfortunate not be able to get that kill, which could have been very well done for uh, Jones. Now it looks like a 3v2 retake with an Odin spamming through market. Game over flanking white, just very, 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 uh, going to be very unfortunate. One enemy remaining. Good for one, good for two. Jones uh, getting very powerful again, getting that buy round and up one to four on the, the map, which uh, people uh, tend to argue it is defense sided. I personally think it's even, especially if both teams know each other this well. Absolutely. Like we mentioned earlier, B hop, all that, all the scorings, easy, easy to think that these maps, these teams are so so similar. But we're gonna, we're, I saw, we saw last round, uh, Stunna making a really really great alt for Jones there, putting pressure on lane tech to get off site or push, and that really worked out. As we have to see, as we're gonna see more of a save. For lane tech here. Very decent push. Now we see aggressive pushes uh, from Evil Blue Bear not be able to do anything, especially on the eco. Jones just instantly executing. Uh, Link Tech not being able to do anything about that with their lesser guns. Sight is now completely Jones's, and another retake scenario. Link Tech not being able to hold these sights really well at uh, in terms of uh, just like in terms of their buy rounds, in terms of the economy. You see a lefty good for one, walking up through CT good for two. They get the player eco through uh, spawn, and then they get uh, throttle through. Um, Market once again, Jones is proving to have a very powerful attack side on this map. Pressure's on here for lane tech. As again, you mentioned how even this map is, and if they get down early, it might be a little too late towards the end with unable to get back. But we saw that comeback from 4 0, and I wouldn't doubt it happen again. But wow, what if a lot, a lot of money compared to the uh, champion side here for the Eagles as they are basking in the 1% as they <laughs> go for another B heavy push, but a little, little more split trying to mix up the looks that they're giving lane tech here. Important to remember that they don't want to do the same thing every single time. Now we see that mid A push once again, that mid from tiles through, uh, and then we got the two players going up from the A main. Uh, both uh, lane tech is playing really passive. Looks like just to give up both sides. We see Reboot good for one, teleports instantly down, out, getting game over their controller, which can be very Look detrimental for the taking site. Cooper, good to getting a uh, throttle though, their uh, lane tech's controller. Evil Berry getting two, getting both Summer and Jagog. We see Lefty holding uh, that tree push, falling back onto that switch area, losing a good amount of HP. We see two players on lane tech really low. Lane tech committing to kill Joy ult. And then we get one remains. from Reboot. Okay. White be able to trade that out though. His lefty, after this kill draw all expires, is in a very bad position. Tries to run to his main. Well, <gasps> potentially get out. Nope. Stunned. Walking through. They potentially know where he's at. Uh, Evil Blue saw his arm and is knifing him. I have to keep it fun, you know? Maybe not the most sportsman take there, but uh, we see again Lane Tech getting around that they needed and. Without a good economy, that's really, really something they needed there. But we probably we see a different look by Jones here, and that kind of cost them. They look like they're going to try the same look again, even though it didn't work last time. Clearly believing that they have a good shot here, but uh, just not a great, not a, <laughs> not a, gr not a great push there. Little split, getting picked off individually from Jones as they look to recover here and Bomb keep their out. dominance up. Now, because of the fact that uh, Jones did win three rounds in a row, their economy will not be like in, in any sort of pain at the current moment. Maybe after Flame starts building this momentum from that previous round, we see the dart from uh, Echo scanning a main, knowing there's people there. Uh, Rebu missing a whiff of shots, which uh, very un uh, likely in terms of him, like very uh, uncharacteristic. Uh, we see White holding that tree push, falling back as they know there's tons of presence. Another A push once again from the side of Jones, executing very quickly. We see Jagog getting hit once, Jagog falling. Lane Tech able to get one through that silver ult, using their utility very well inside the lane. Looking like another uh, retake. We see uh, both Killjoys towards mid. Evil Blueberry being able to get Stunna. Lefty walking up, not prepared for Thrudel to be that close. Thrudel gets all of them. Is they aware, are they aware of the last omen? So close, Thrudel not being able to uh, see them, but Reboot is there for the trades, as always. And Lane Tech, another very convincing round. Adaptation for both teams are insane. I know it looked down, it looked close at first, one to five is a very bad position. Both teams know each other so well though that I wasn't worried. It's gonna be another very competitive match. <laughs> yeah, you are from Lane Tech. Uh, I see you're <laughs> playing a little bit of favorites here, understandably, but again, 
Jones had so many rounds won there that their economy really isn't that bad. Or not even isn't that bad. Is can get bad if they keep losing these games, but they still have lots of money to buy in this round, particularly as lane tech again. Another convincing round, like you mentioned, as we are seeing t players who weren't picking it up early picking it up now as we see this lane tech team try and get this defense here against a B heavy push. We, we, we see the Odin, line. we see Reboot trying to make early presence. Of course, the Odin Sam once again getting one with the Killjoy Molly instead. Jones dashing through. Reboot good for one, Reboot good for two with the insane flip. Both players have Jones stuck in main. We were not good for another, but Jegog is such low HP that basically one Thrudel on such a quick flank that uh, they're not ready for a game over. Trying to get the kill on Thrudel, trying to get out early uh, with uh, the Omen all. Not being able to get the pick and uh, another very quick round from the side of lane tech. Playing that aggression very well. Played that aggression very well, expected it as it was working earlier, but they just completely stopped that push in its track. Thrudel really picking it up after the early struggles, but Again, we see this lane tech team not giving up, the young team not giving up, and we're seeing a little bit of an economy struggle with two guardians on the side of Jones as uh, as champions sit pretty with money, and they look towards a split defense again with a more a heavy push, to, a more a heavy look from this Jones team. They're spamming closer angles because they know uh, Reboot is towards that bottom mid. Of course, playing mission spot as always. They know White is somewhere towards tree as uh, Lane Tech is playing more similar positions. We see Echo trying to play mid. Sona, of course, the insane player that he is gets the pick. Running up towards that mid. Are they aware of White? Nope. Oh able to get one as the rest of Jones players are playing through mid. Or playing through a main, rather. As uh, Thrudel trying to potentially get a pick from any play aggressive play. Actually falling back. Uh, Jagog able to get the pick instead, not worried about his life as uh, it was he was in the KO alt, so he just able to pick up once again. And now 2v4 retake on the side of lane tech. Um, we see uh, White and Evil Dewberry. Knife and close angles. Jones, no, Last both players are game over, getting the Guardian flick. Surprised they're not holding oh, yeah. tree if they knew where both oh. players were. But then again, Jones is able to trade it out. And uh, another convincing ground, both teams. Not keeping it close whatsoever, just having their rounds just convincingly either one side, one way or the other. Absolutely, we see that tend to be early picks from teams as whoever tried, no one picks one off is that 5v4 makes a big, big difference with teams this evenly matched, it feels like. Uh, as we're going to see a little bit of a another a heavy push it worked last time and Jones really trying to just stay on top and stay dominating. Not trying to see what happened last time and let lane tech back into this game as they have a very a heavy push but they're a very a heavy defense this time too. They know that uh white is playing that similar position which uh as all of the rounds he has played currently holding that tree side. We see Jones not trying to take mid whatsoever you just playing run. a main. We see the knife come through detecting four of the five players they know that uh most, if not all, the entire team is there. The ki uh, killjoy all from the side of Jones being used as uh, Lane has no nothing to do but to respect the side of uh, uh, Jones. We see the TP coming through from uh, Game Over. Not aware of the uh, Evil Blueberry under Hell, but only good for one. Stunna uh, punishing uh, Echo's uh, push through Heaven. We see a flash from the side of White. Flashing all the players. We see the Kale ult coming through to punish any other utility being used. We see spam coming through from Lefty. Reboot good for one with the op. You know it's a close plant. They got good for one. Dinked. Spam through wall. Jenny. Brutal. The last player alive. Not being able to clutch it. And now Jones has won the half on the attack side of Ascent, which is lane tech's map. Up three as they switch sides last here. Round in oh, the half. I apologize. As they are prepared for the last round of the swap here, lane tech really going to try and keep this game in their reach as they don't want to be down four again. That's always a tough spot to be in, especially when you're down 1-0 in the match overall and we're gonna see again more split push more split defense but echo does have that odin which he is known for uh they're and fierce we're gonna actually them. see a b heavy push as we're but there also is we've seen they yeah, really pick way. up their defense on that side doing much much better than there we see Ribu with the tour de force trying to punish any aggressive players getting stunna and just instantly uh, TPing out, just playing with the team, trying not to give Jones any sort of picks. Forcing Jones to just instantly rotate, knowing that they probably potentially would. We see White walking up towards mid, trying to get early jump peaks. Um, Jones, there was one player there. Lefty trying to punish this. 
and said uh, both players not able to get the kills and we see a very heavy mid uh, to D presence from the side of Jones. Lefty getting punished, very hard to escape with the Otis spam. Walking through instead, aggressive. Good for one, good for two. Not good for three, but we see other players who were able to remaining. get one. And that really mid-aggressive push worked really well. Spike down, oh, one reboot, good for remaining. two, not good for three. The KO knife disabling his all and the Ultimate Spectre. Switching it was sides. doable, but not uh, likely. Character uncharacteristic matches, you mentioned that it's been kind of a blowout on both sides, but you see that come down to the last second it was really, really chaotic, kind of a mid push almost, and not even on site as both teams kind of look like a death match there. Uh, and even as we see the lane tech side, a few members are slacking, unable to get kills and keep getting this thing over because Jones is such an excellent team. And Jones, not too much experience against really great teams other than lane tech. They haven't really scrimmed too many top 10 teams or played too many top 10 teams, except their playing field central match last week that they okay. did excruciatingly, excruciatingly just ran over playing field central. And they are a very good team, proving it here up four. We see very uh, heavy B presence for the side of Jones. Trying to punish that early aggression as uh, lane tech just opting just to ignore that side entirely, go through mid. We see spam coming from Cooper that is weakening two of the players of lane tech. We see Jagog and Lefty is playing towards uh, Heaven. The shorty, good for two. And uh, instantly traded out, but we see that uh, White is low. White actually getting killed from Cooper. Echo being able to trade it out. And now a 2v2, which looked pretty detrimental to the side of lane for that very first pr uh, position. We see Ibu very really low HP, trying to punish any players going through tree. Not being able to. Both players have their lives entirely. Ibu very trying to play an aggressive angle. Not being able to, whiffing a few shots. Very hard to do, especially with all that jumping. And Jones taking the pistol round on the side of defense. Absolutely, as they take a 9-4 lead here, lane tech. Really trying to not let this get away from them. Is, is they might have to save here, just based on the second round. They don't have a lot of money, but as we can see, a lot of great frags still for Rebo, as Rebo is doing excruciating damage to this Jones team, but... Jones is just playing better here and being a stronger team altogether as we're going to see a more A-sided push here, a mid more for the champions here as they look to try and erase this five, four, five, five point deficit and try to get this game back in their favor. Uh, as we see the, we see all players walking up towards Cat and smoke bottom mid. Is Jones prepared for this? We see Lefty and uh, we see Lefty and Jagog playing really aggressive angles. Lefty with the Judge playing really close. Judge, not good for one, good for one, good for two. We see remaining. Jagog there to trade and instantly Lefty collapsing. Lefty and Jagog both collapsing that round, uh, stopping any sort of potential link I had to taking that. You love to see Judge plays, right? Shotguns kind of not too great in this game. Not Well, they definitely have their strong sides, but kind of underrated, in my opinion. I love shotguns so much, and you love to see plays like that. But again, just another round. And of course, you never say never. We saw last, last week, actually, on Thursday, Elgin, second game, down 10 to 4. Didn't lose another round after being down that far, and won every single round to come back and win this game. But we'll have to see how lane tech responds after a hard loss there we see them in presence once again lane tech having uh weaker guns again that buy from that previous round uh their force didn't work out now having to eco once again which could be bad as uh jones has a potential to go up for 11 in this series we see uh through getting one we see Ibu Berry able to trade out uh that pick from jagog two players towards b lefty towards a Echo and Lefty 1v1 duel. Let's see what happens here. Lefty isn't aware. Enemy Getting off. the pick early, we see uh, just immediately rotations towards that A site. We see White trying to punish any sort of rotations, weakening that Killjoy to one shot as both uh, both players are now towards that market uh, CT side. Reboot getting the finishing blow on uh, Killjoy on the Sana. 
Now all we have left is game over, which is known is now known location for being mid. We see really aggressive play from Elaine and Rebu getting the one tap. Uh, game over with that judge not being able to do anything and Elaine Tech another eco round that actually works in the favor of them. That mid presence helped them a lot, and now we see five ten a potential comeback. Absolutely, <laughs> never say never. It feels like as we see Elaine Tech finally responding, God, players yes. picking it up and. They play a little more as a team, as you saw in that mid push, getting it done together. And they're going to look for a B heavy push here, but there's a very big B presence for Jones here too, as yeah. well. But we're going to see how Jones responds, still trying to st still trying to not let this game get out of their hands, as they have dropped five and four in a row a few times last game, but still ended up winning. The judges, we see the, va we see the judges, the phantoms, the everything. Coming out from the side of Jones, we see a very heavy B presence in the side of Lane. Cooper playing a very unique off angle, and Lane Tech just not having it. Immediately rotating out, but Lefty holding uh, from Cubby to Tiles with the op, missing the shot, knowing where exactly where he is now. Re peeking, not working out for him. Probably gonna re peek once again with the jet dash, getting one, dashing out. We see Thrudo aggressively. Lefty good for two, not good for three. But it's already done more fair, more than fair share in his round as uh, he's gotten two picks. We see uh, Thrudel and uh, Echo all alone. We see a flank from Jagog towards top mid. Spike is now in tiles. Uh, Thrudel with the Spectre, not having an actual gun. It's going to be very hard to do this. Now snared, low HP, flashed everything in the kitchen sink thrown at Thrudel as Jones take this uh, now 11 to 5. Jones playing really aggressive here, lane tag, playing a little more passive and just unable to unable to get this Jones team caught off guard. And we see another win as Jones is up six to six up six points. Still looking to keep this game up and still not looking to let them back in this game as again, as we mentioned, anything can happen. We have seen such, such games, like 10 to nothing, that's still somehow right the team up 10 lose, but seeing an A-side push, and looks like Jones isn't very ready for it. We see that A presence coming out from uh, like lane tech. We see instantly rotations coming from the side of Jones. Two playing mid, three trying to play A. Lefty being spotted by that drone, not able to get that instant pick that uh, they wanted. Uh, Sun not be able to get that out, but Rebu, someone check this man's PC, spamming through the smoke, getting the headshot. You see, uh, Cooper trying to spam through the smoke, Cooper dying instead. Knives, Rebu. Bit of a spaghetti coming from, uh, that side. Now, uh, we see, uh, the side not being taken. A bit of a lag coming in from the side of, uh, production. It looks like that, uh, Rebu gets another kill with the Vandal. Being able to do that as a lefty now playing God uh, trying to get exit picks. Do they know? No one knows where he's at. It's actually very crazy in terms of no one being able to spot where lefty is at as now he goes on to try to defuse the spike. Never mind. No time left remaining for lefty try to defuse the spike. Losing the op, which could have been a very seek free ninja play. 12 seconds left. Trying to, uh, you know, <laughs> he just tried to uh, troll around. He was trying. To, he was trying to time it the very last second to uh, try to shatter Lane Tech's mental. Instead, didn't work. And uh, now Lane Tech up six eleven, very close, and uh, getting the ninja defuse almost in Valorant, which had been insane. Absolutely, playing a little bit of Call of Duty and a little bit of Metal Gear Solid there, just completely missed somehow. Uh, that's why you check your corners, I suppose, but a really great play by Lefty to just, I guess, use a Lefty's, you know, sneakiness. And as we see a B push here, and a B heavy side of defense. Now we see that uh, X towards B again, Killjoy utility there, to jump trying to stop it. We see the knife coming through, uh, game over having just the class to try and defend this. Nothing more. See the flash, him playing run. a more unique off angle. Uh, investing the culture all it looks like game over will most likely be losing his life there. They're trying to get into picks, play aggressively, did not work out for them. Lefty getting one, dashing right towards down, lane, not able to get two. We see uh, Jagog and Cooper playing towards market. We see uh, White playing a close angle, Cooper punishing that. Revu alone on site, as we see Revu Larry playing towards main, trying to punish at players. We see uh, Revu Larry gets the pick onto uh, Jagog, and then we see Cooper getting the pick onto Revu. 
You see Snare come in from the side of uh, Cooper. Now got really low speed for the Killjoy Molly. Evil Bear just stalling this out as much as possible to try to uh, uh, win the round, get to 7 11 instead of giving Jones 8 12. You see I again. Miss thrown. We see sticking the fuse. I don't do anything with all this Killjoy utility being used, and Evil Berry just playing all the utility so well, getting the pick onto Cooper as they win the round. And now, 7 11. Momentum on the side of lane, and uh, it's like a comeback. Killjoy, excellent job there. That that alt at the beginning of the round there, setting up that push very, very well. And while they did nearly get pushed back, Blueberry did manage to save that round for lane tech as they look to crawl back into this game, putting up more of a fight now than they did in the first half. Playing ex extremely well in that one round, and we hope to see a little bit more replication. Just had a site, and it doesn't look Jones is 100% ready though. You want to play? Let's play. We see uh, the economy around coming out from the side of Jones, which uh, they are share of demons, so it's still very possible. But the three-man cross link from lane looks like white, just the option to just escape. Most likely play retake. Very unique eye coming from Cooper, knowing his lineups very well. We see just instant rotations, instantly pushing out. Off getting one, Reboot getting two, Lefty punishing that. Not being able to get anything more. He is 1 HP with no armor. We see Game Over coming to the flank, getting one, and the Phantom. Jagog using that KO flash, very powerful. Jagog, very low HP. Any breath on him will kill him. Game over. Looks like he was trying to clutch the round. Jagog getting another with that Singer. Proving very powerful from the use of both teams. And that Killjoy Molly definitely will be able to take the round. Is Lane Tech riding that momentum now up, now down. Just three more rounds before they can make this comeback. If I'm not incorrect, KO received a flash nerf right before the game, I believe. Uh, it was, I think at around maybe one or two our time, we Valorant got an update. I believe KO's flash was heavily nerfed. Not great there, as it's just it is what it is. Obviously, we don't control the patch notes, but uh, as we can see, Lane Tech getting another game that they needed as they're crawling back into this game. They're only down three now. As I mentioned, never say never. We see another uh, game of presence. We see uh, John trying out hold this with the guns. They know that there is some presence for tape, at the very least, but the eye does not uh, catch it. We see uh, Echo walking up. We see uh, Cooper playing for Wine and uh, Game Over playing towards that main presence. Mid presence. The main mid presence to try to punish any uh, aggressive pushes from Lane Tech. Lane Tech, instead of rotating out, which they usually do in this sort of scenario, are just in the hold it, trying to fake rotations. Up, which honestly works is working well so far. It uh, has enforced uh, both uh, Sunna and the left hand rotate all the way. They probably should be able to now. We see White punishing Cooper's uh, really bad position overall and having the KO res. This can be revived. Brutal getting uh, Jagog. See Sunna having that Killjoy all to try to take sight. We see uh, Game Over. Uh, Nova ult, everything. The kitchen sink being thrown at Jones. Lefty, the last player alive. Almost clutching in the diffuse. Now they know his position though. Rebu getting around to 40% HP and around. Lane Tech riding the momentum once again. Only two rounds away. Eagles again struggling with economy. Only two rounds away, you mentioned, from getting back into this game. Is it's just absolutely crazy to see how fast they have half their lead at the half. I believe down mm, down 10 to 6, maybe at the half, or 10 to 4. I'm not exactly sure on that, but Lane Tech not giving up, not giving in to this Jones team that they have so much hatred with. Not actual hatred, just school rivalries. You know a lot of them know each other and are very, very good friends, but on the A site we see a more heavy push and defense as both teams expected here. Now, it's, we see the more default push towards that mid-presence. We see Evil Billy walking up. We see Jones now just deciding to make sure they want to hold A next time. So huge oh. presence. Rebu getting the pick through tree with the Killjoy Alarm Bot to, uh, Top any like instant pushes. We see Jagog not ready for Evil Blueberry's position. Same with Stunna not being able to get the trade off. We see a 2v5 retake. Uh, Jones having really bad guns. Um, this looks not as doable as uh, you would think, albeit, like I said, Jones has won plenty of eco rounds with their shares before, but not in this scenario of 2v5. But 1v5 now as Lefty is left alone once again, trying to see if he can get an exit or that very almost clutch Ninja Diffuse onto that spike, which. 
They know his location now. One Getting down. one, of course. Lefty, Lefty, known for that insanely play powerful sheriff, playing a very aggressive cross from uh, the side of lane tech, punishing uh, Lefty not being ready for uh, lane tech to break the door as uh, lane tech. One round away from evening this up and potentially even taking this map. The adaptation has been insane. Absolutely. Uh, as Eagles are kind of on the ropes here, struggling with money from multiple rounds. They've got it now, and they've got a full buy, and we'll see how Lane Tech does against nine We saw it two in a row there for the Eagles, but the Eagles are kind of on the ropes here and losing their momentum four in a row right now for the champions as they look to switch it up a little bit. But Bomb still stays at mid A site, but another A heavy put defense here as they worry for that side. We see that uh, kills are all coming here from Blue Blueberry. Looking towards that B presence once again. Try to take it. We see um, presence, only little presence from the side of B from Jones. You we see that run. Killjoy on A. We see uh, Jagog having uh, Molly line up, just immediately able to break that Killjoy all, not having to worry about it. Very good for the side of Jones. It's not like any presence. We see Lefty with the op. Uh. Rebu is ready. That op proving it to hurt. Sana is playing under hell though. Not being able to do anything about it. Um, Thrudel now decides to rotate out with Spike um, being in the hands. As uh, we see that mid-presence once again. Uh, Jones is aware of a few players. As uh, Lane is now aware of a player towards Market. Jagog. Throwing that quick flash. Ibu Bavari getting the pick. But Coop, uh, Cooper trying to get Echo. If they get Cooper here, it could be the run for Lane. But Cooper getting another pick. Throwing that dog to potentially try to spot any players. White getting the pick onto uh, Cooper. Left. And now baiting the Omen ult onto B site. Lane Tech decide to go towards A, but Stunna is there and is almost certainly ready to get any sort of picks. Good for one. Through the teleporting to the mo teleporting to Molly. Lane Tech do need this one round in order to clutch it out. Through will have to plant. Landing. Landing now. Jones aware of the fact that they have to plan. Thrudel trying to stun it out for, uh, trying to stall it for as long as possible to get uh, Stunna to uh, try to peek. Of Mass course, the point. discipline from Jones and all their players, he wasn't going to. And now with the last seconds, 12, Jones one away from taking the series. Yeah, Jones squeaks by there using the time to their advantage as they saw a less unified push and they were able to pick off a few and keep that push down and keep that push slow as they've been struggling with extremely fast pushes but a very very balanced game so far from the jones side four of five players over 14 frags now and within three with each other and they are playing, extremely, alarm box. playing played extremely bad but they look to retaliate here as they're now on match point we see lane tech most likely wanting that overtime uh doesn't wants to be the first team most likely to take that map from jones as we all know that jones had yet to lose a map albeit lane tech nearly did it on haven now we'll do it again let's see if they can try to pull it out through ascent but having to take two rounds just to guarantee overtime and play overtime against jones is very uh difficult already we see uh lane tech a bit lost going towards that b site going through uh, spawn not wanting to give uh, jones any early picks it will be most likely a uh, B ender here. Uh, we see Lefty and uh, Jog holding B side, both very prominent players, and stopping these holds and getting all their trades. And then, of course, we see Cooper holding that mid presence. Lefty ready just to get one. Good for one. Jog, good for the trade. Echo just getting the spam. We see Cooper and we see uh, Jagog here. We see the game over rotate almost instantly. It looks like very difficult. They know one is a uh, very hard left corner. Just stuck there. Take hold. 30 seconds left. Lane Tech almost not be able to do anything about this other than just try to keep him alive as long as possible. See spam coming through. 20 seconds left. Lane Tech will most likely have to commit to this site. 17, 16, 15 seconds. White trying to exit through. Brutal trying to exit through. Ten With 10 left. seconds left, and uh, Echo using that so far. All. This is looking like a good game for the side of Jones. Unless they try to throw this here, getting uh, Echo an ace, but nope. And now the map is gone to Jones. That is GG's from both sides. A very competitive and well uh, fought map and series. Yeah, the rivalry ends in Jones's favor here.
But again, we saw an extremely hard-fought battle towards the end. The champions not willing to give up, and Ribu top-fragging the match again, doing an excellent job for this lane tech team. But the champions can't come out here, and unfortunately, Re Ribu's efforts go a little bit to waste here. But great, great job. Great, great match. Both these teams played extremely well, and neither team refused to give up giving up for both sides losing so much momentum but always coming back and always tr making games even and close and as you saw in the valorant chat which uh the stream wasn't able to see but uh we see lane tech saying see you in finals and uh Sunder replying with see you there so both teams are expecting to see each other in that finals even though that it wasn't fortunate they have to play here in uh round five of the ihsca season they're both expecting to go very far and make waves in that land, which will become which will be coming uh, next Saturday. Absolutely, as both teams look great and will probably be making some noise, and they're definitely two teams to watch out for once land comes around. Well, I was uh, Itsuki, and uh... yeah, that's uh, the stream for today. I'm glad yeah, you. Uh... I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope yeah. you guys all have a good day and do your homework. Yep, do your homework. Yeah, let's say.